Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. I'm Jenny and today I am canning. I have got a huge beef brisket in my freezer taking up a ton of real estate. I bought it at a restaurant supply store for 20% off. I think I paid $37 for the whole thing. I don't know how much it weighs. I'll tell you when I pull it out of the fridge. Right now I'm finishing making my bread. Anyway, as much as I love to just make brisket and smoke it, I have never canned it, so I want to can it. That way I can have it for whatever I want to use it for. So we'll probably can half the brisket up. So pull the chair up to my counter and let's get started. Okay, I got my beef out of the fridge. It is this big. This is taking up room in my freezer, one of my chest freezers. 15 pound uh, beef brisket. So I am going to go ahead and cut this up. I'm going to put it into jars raw. We are completely raw packing, nothing added. I might add a little bit of salt. Maybe not. Okay, so I'm going to cut it up and pack the jars. Okay, I have them all packed. And um, there was like a pound of blood in that bag. So there was a lot of blood I got in there. Get air bubbles out of here. I'm leaving my inch ahead space. Actually, more like an inch and a half in most here. Or more. It was very fatty meat too, so there was a lot of fat. So that 15 pounds, I don't think, it didn't even get me 14 jars. I got 13 here. Okay, cold meat, cold jars, cold water in the canner. My canner is has the water in it, but I have not turned it on. Anytime you raw pack like this, you want to make sure that your canner is cold. I have a mixture of pure and four jars lids. I'm just adding them right to my canner. I gotta get this going because I gotta get my pizza made. I have pizza dough and bread dough rising in my oven. There's always something going on around here. Plus, I wanted to work on my quilt that I'm making. And we are going to be driving tonight with the kids. So I gotta make popcorn for that. Okay, everybody is in the hot tub. Unfortunately, battery died again, so it is plugged in. It does not work. It does not work if it's not well, it's plugged in. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this buckled down. While I knock everything else down here. And because these are meat and they are pints, these are gonna process for 75 minutes. Alrighty, I just put my weight on, forgot to I forgot to remind to make sure you vent for 10 minutes and I am putting my Chicago style pizza in the oven. I just got my sauce done on the top. Yum! What do you guys make when you're canning? I seem to want to go out of my way and make homemade bread and a bunch of difficult things while I'm in the middle of canning. Okay, they are done and out of the canner. Everybody is sealed and I really can't turn them. You're kind of facing down. They look delicious. Robert had to pull them out of the canner. I was gone. I went to the drive-in movies with my kids. Super good time. I cut up the pizza and put it on separate plates so that the kids could all eat and we had a blast. 
Boy, do I love going to the drive-in movies. It's so fun. We saw Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> the Littles had a good time. And I made a bunch of popcorn. I popped a bunch of popcorn at home to take as well. That was good. Good times. If you've got a drive-in, I know it's like old-timey and a lot of places don't have them anymore. We have a drive-in in the middle of Phoenix and it's so fun. I love to go to the drive-in movies. <sighs> of course, my son backs his truck up, puts the tailgate down, pulls the table down, has the chairs, so <laughs> so that we could dine outside, and it was a beautiful night. And that pizza was so good. If you're interested, I have that on my website, the pizza crust recipe. I will try to link those in the description box below for you. When you're canning um, the beef, you can raw pack it just like I did. If you wanted to add a half a teaspoon of canning salt or kosher salt, you could do that. You could also put in a little bit of um, like a half teaspoon of powdered beef bouillon. That's good. Or you can do it plain just like I did. It's completely up to you. Okay, so that is all there is. That's all there is to canning beef raw. Super easy. I'm happy to have it out of my freezer and on my shelf. Anyway, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these, please consider subscribing. You can find me on Instagram at JenningGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog at JenningGoff.com for all of my recipes. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.